And good afternoon. This is Coach Greg Pete of Deep Dish Football. I come this time now to go over our Deep Dish Football game of the week. Phillips versus Richards. Go through the rosters. Talk about a little bit about the players. Some players to keep an eye out for. Some other players to do uh, to keep a close eye on in the future years. Um, one thing I do is I do not acknowledge injuries. I just want people to understand it. I do not acknowledge injuries. I don't put anything up about injuries or any of that. It's wrong. These are minors. These are kids. I don't talk about injuries. Simple as that. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to put it out there. I do hope you understand. Thank you. All right, let's go over Phillips. Um, in my player spotlight, I had Jabor Gibbs. And, uh, well, just look at what I, with the video, I said uh, he is probably one of the better quarterbacks in the state of Illinois. Keep an eye out for him, blah, blah, blah. He's that good. I'm just, there's no doubt about it. Um, Terrence Taylor. Linebacker out of Mount Carmel. I'm sorry, transfer from Mount Carmel to Phillips. Uh, unbelievable. And I'm talking about linebacker for college. He's a uh, he's an edge rusher right now. Uh, could play linebacker too. Uh, could play the edge rusher too. Uh, a complete total athlete. Ability to make plays. Ability to uh, rush the uh, rush the pass was unbelievable. One of the faster uh, linebackers in the state of Illinois. Well, I'm sorry, I keep saying faster, but one of the faster defensive end, edge rushers in the state of Illinois. Unbelievable. Um, very talented kid, very, um, I think he can play almost any linebacker spot if, if need be, especially in college, so, uh, another one, Craig Elmore, uh, very under-respected running back, and this was a guy that, uh, during discussions with college coaches and and I talked about, and I talked about Craig Elmore, they want to see a little bit more out of him. Uh, he is a definite player and one of the better running backs in the state of Illinois. Makes great plays also on defense, too. It's great to see. Um, I think it's also good to see that these players also not only play one uh, one position, but play two positions for Phillips. I really do like to see that. That's very good. Another one, Joseph Thompson, as you know, he's a junior, heavily recruited, hell of a wide receiver. Again, nothing but weapons here for Phillips. I mean, you could build a D1 football team from this team. I'm not going to lie to you. Rayshon, uh, Rayshon Thompson, uh, young running back to keep a close eye out for. Uh, Fabby McRae, everybody knows. Anthony Davis, nobody really was talking about this, but deserves a lot of respect. Anthony Davis, I have no idea why people are not looking at this kid. This kid's good. He is really, really good. Uh, slot back, and he also can play a little bit of a defensive back, but I really do like him at uh, slot back. Uh, slot pack position. Dra Heron Jr. He's gonna be another heavily recruited one. Another heavily recruited defensive tackle, Quinnell Morrison. Really do like Quinnell Morrison. Amori Hurd, another person that no one wants to talk about. Uh, a great offensive tackle. One of the better offensive tackles in the state of Illinois. Um they have a great group of running backs and a great group of uh uh wide receivers and defensive backs. Um I'm trying to find his other name. Joel Billingsley from Mount Carmel transferred to Phillips. 6'5. So already got enough from I think it's Purdue. Another person just to keep a close eye out on for. He um he's gonna be a huge target next year for a lot of D1 schools. Um very talented, big target for a quarterback. Makes a quarterback's life a lot easier. Um the Mark Morris sophomore, he's probably gonna He's the guy that's going to rise up on the list, too. Let's see. I'm, I'm just going down here. Rayshon Davis, small but deadly. I see him as a rover type of player. Uh, Clinton Ergu, uh, another player to keep a close eye. Young defensive rush end. Uh, I'm trying to look for another player that is not. There's one player. I don't, uh, trying to find this little player. There's one player uh, in the Phillips roster that I'm trying to look. I, I think it's – no, he's not there. There's a player on Phillips who is a potential, potential sleeper this season. Um, I really do like him. I saw him in a couple few of uh, the showcases, and I really did like the kid. I think he could be something of a – of a late developer slash early riser that colleges could definitely take a look at. But 
he's going to be one of those key players. The thing with Phillips that I really do like is Phillips has got a lot of players that um, they have the role play. They have a great group of role pl role players, but they have a great group of uh, bench players too. They can come out and play for Phillips and do a hell of a job. Um, and I think what's key too that I like about what the Phillips coaching staff does with that roster is that they treat each kid with uh, the same amount of respect from a talented player to uh, a bench player. They show them the same respect, and that's that. That's hats off to McAllister and that whole crew, Larson, defense coordinator. They just that's huge respect for them. Okay, so let's go to uh, Richards, the Richards roster. Sebastian, Sebastian, Sebastian Castro. I talked about uh, really unbelievable uh, defensive back and uh, quarterback. Of course, he's not going to play quarterback in college. Uh, Willie Trey Lott, uh, unbelievable athlete to look out for. Kevin Gardner, underrated middle linebacker. I've said numerous times that uh, people should keep a close eye out for the kid. Derek Flowers, hell of a running back. He's probably going to be one of the top running backs in the state next year. Um, Walter Riley, uh, he's a junior. Um, they that's that's the scary part. That's going to be one of the big showdowns. I totally forgot about Walter Riley. Uh, Richards uh, has a good secondary. Walter Riley is one of them. I know Sebastian Castro. Everybody looks at Sebastian Castro. But keep a close eye for uh, Walter Riley. He's another good guy. Uh, Niles, uh, Niles Gale, I had another one of my wide receivers who I saw that I really liked out of uh, what I saw from uh, his practice. He looked really, really good. Um, there's one more player that I want to talk about out of the Richards crew. And I'm forgetting him. Is yeah, I'm not Solomon. I'm not Solomon. Uh, nose guard. Uh, I really like what I saw from the kid. I really like his huddle. Um, I think I think a lot of people uh, are not looking at the kid. I think some people should take a look at him. I really do like a, a Matt Solomon. There's one more player I'm forgetting, and I it's gonna kill me. There's one play I'm forgetting. I talked about one play I'm forgetting. Niles Gill, I talked about. Oh, Cody Dwyer. I forgot about him, too. He's another good wide receiver. Um, they actually have a nice little group of uh, wide receivers, Richards. They also have a great group of uh, defensive backs, which is quite shocking. But uh, the running backs, their, li uh, their linebackers are very, very solid. Um, and just the level of years and the measure of leadership between junior and senior look unbelievable for Richards that they could make sort of a drive this season. Uh, Coach Sheehan does a great job uh, the, with, with that staff. And uh, Coach Zimba, uh, def a defensive line and offensive line coach, another coach to keep a very close eye on, um, young coach to look out for. But uh, Coach Sheehan does a great job with those Richards Bulldogs, and it's going to be a hell of a season for Richards. Um, after when they get into conference play, when they go against Shepard, that's going to be a good game. I think they play Lamont, if I'm not mistaken. But it's going to be a good. It's going to be a good season for Richards, <clears throat> and their athletes is uh, their their line. I'm sorry, their line is how far they can take them is going to be based on what their line plays. Simple as that, especially for Richards. So, thank you so much.